Good evening. Hope we're all doing well. Uh, it's Saturday, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer day. And uh, yeah, we're back. I'm not feeling that great, to be honest. So it might not be as normally as long as it normally is. But uh, hopefully you can still join us for a, a couple of games and a bit of chat. So uh, I'll just jump into the... In to the Discord. There's a link in the description if you want to come join us. Hello, hello. Hey, wasn't sure what was going to happen today. Yes, apologies. I didn't uh, get a chance to put the uh, title thing out. Uh, right. Let's uh, see who's about and get a game going. I think I'm all set. Bring the chat up, see if there's anybody around. Probably not because I didn't make anybody aware. <laughs> oh, Curtis hopped in. Hey, hey, I'm here. Hey, Curtis. How you doing? Yeah, I, all right. I was just playing a game while ago. I didn't know you would be on today, so I was, I was playing solo today. <laughs> yeah, I meant to. Uh, I meant to put the uh, the. I meant to schedule it earlier, and then uh, I got uh, stuck in Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> didn't realize the time. You got stuck in Andromeda, huh? So you're actually trying it? Yeah, well, I'm trying to finish it. I am trying to finish it. So I've just um, I've just done the mission where you find out that all the uh, Ket of Angarans, like, repurposed. Oh, so you still got a little bit to go in the game. So, the, yeah, just the, the Moshai, I think. I've just saved the Moshai. Not really sure what yeah, Moshai is. Sapphire. I think, it's, I think it's kind of like a bit way the game, ain't he, Chris? I was having some problems with the A earlier as well. Yeah. Ain't nothing new with them. <laughs> they up there. No, you're right, Phantomus. Phantomus. However you pronounce that. And Andromeda is not that bad. It just got hate bombed so much at the beginning that EA was like, we're not going to fix the problems. And it looks like they did, and it looks pretty good, but did before. I just think so. people were upset because it wasn't the trilogy. It wasn't like that, and I think that's a good thing. You know, you got to move away from it, even though it works. Like sometimes you just got to evolve. Yeah, it's kind of like the Star Trek series. You know, everybody was hooked on the uh, the original series they don't like the new ones you know so it doesn't hurt to have another you know storyline going for it i like it i think the combat is fun with the jump jets and everything it's um i'm getting used to it yeah i'm getting used to it it's just not a big fan of liam though but <laughs> other people a lot of people kind of like him, though. Yeah, Liam went the way of Jacob. Yeah. There's times I like to toss him out of the airlock. I can't bring my chat up for some reason. My uh, my laptop's not uh, not playing. I mean, how? How do you follow up, especially Mass Effect 2? 2 was such a masterpiece. 3 was amazing all the way through until the ending, and the ending was a huge disappointment. Even after they tried fixing it, it's still you know, not that great. Like, how do you follow that? Yeah, they kind of did, they doubled down on the bittersweet ending, didn't they? Oh, the ending's bittersweet. It's, it's all you seem to get out of them. Yeah, I do think one of the issues with the ending of Mass Effect 3 is it didn't feel like they knew what kind of emotion they wanted people to feel. Like, they, I felt like they wanted something dark, but then they also wanted something, like, happy. So, it was... To me, it felt like they were kind of not... didn't have a clear idea of <laughs> if they wanted it to be really happy or really serious. 
nobody's whining about the ending, Spencer. Like, if you <laughs> want to be childish and leave because of that, then bye. You guys think that might have been a uh, like a dream sequence, maybe? Well, yeah, that's what the indoctrination theory was all about. I saw Tim's video a while ago, so it, it could be, you know, everybody might be still be alive, you know, like Anderson and, you know, all them others. Well, Anderson could have, you know, in reality died at the beam sequence. Everybody else certainly did. Yeah. Kind of my big biggest problem with that whole beam sequence when they uh, they had the extended cut, your teammate gets injured and the Normandy comes down and evacuates them out of there and Harbinger just watches them take off. Like, no, Harbinger would have shot the Normandy down and then killed Shepard. Yeah. There we go. I've got the, like chat. the chat's up, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of instances in Mass Effect 3 where you kind of have to just forgive like the things that don't make sense just because they're they're very emotionally impactful or like they they do like like there are some great moments that you know if you had, if you thought about them logically or took them out for the sake of logic like you'd miss out on some great stuff Like, I mean, whilst you're completely right, like, they could just shoot down the Normandy so easily, it was such a great goodbye for, like, you know, whoever your romance is. And it would have destroyed the ending, because even before the extended cut, there was that scene where everybody plays, they're there, and they do the ceremony where they place Shepard's name up on the board. And like you said in the indoctrination theory video, I think it was Kate who brought it up. How do you stop something like the Reaper invasion? You know, you have two kilometer advanced sentient machines all over the galaxy, just laying waste everywhere. What do you do? Yeah, you're going to have to have a MacGuffin, aren't you? you they, they, they kind of back themselves into a corner with it. You, you say that conventional weapons won't destroy it. What have, what have you got left? Uh, thank you for the kind words, uh, for Thomas. Hello, Kevin. This was the map I was just playing. <laughs> <laughs> With the Reapers. Uh, we do need to change map though. I've spent the majority of the this afternoon on that frozen planet in, in Andromeda. I'm getting sick of seeing snow. <laughs> I have Vold. I hate Vold. <laughs> it's starting to warm it up over here. About 75 degrees today. That's good. I don't know what that is in centigrade, but... It's a little warmer. I think it's like around 25 centigrade. Oh, yeah, that's shorts and t-shirt weather, that. Yeah. The thing is, it's not even really comparable, though, is it? Because, like, you guys are used to completely different weather to us. Like, I feel like it's apples and oranges. <laughs> <laughs> Um, thank you for talking about the Mass Effect 3 ending. And Facebook page, people who invest in time on the R of Pregnancy Romance Canon. Let's just get the Mass Effect 3 ending topic out of the way first. <laughs> oh, you can tell I'm not played for a couple of weeks. And I'm, I'm like expecting to jump around with the jump jet somewhere. <laughs> it, it's funny when you think about it, isn't it? Like it took four games for them to put jumping into Mass Effect. <laughs> it took three games just to get dodge rolling. Oh my god. 
I think me and you did pretty good the other night, just two of us. Yeah, <laughs> it was alright, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit later than I expected to be. Back from work. Man, I hate when they start throwing their bombs at you. Oh, I can't really grab them. I think she was too far away. I knocked her back. Sorry. <laughs> oh. God. Watch that grenade. Oh, Fred. I couldn't see all that snow. Play on platinum difficulty, and your enemies are collectors. You'll get collectors, guests, yeah. service reapers. Yeah, it gets a bit mental. <laughs> in, um, platinum. <laughs> Choose reapers, though. Collectors don't show up. Oh, that was a close one. Let's get ready to ship yeah, off. He's just stomping. <laughs> <laughs> he's just get ready to stump on me right there. I, I got a health pack, but I want to save it. Just why I spam the concussive shot. It does so much for you. Oh, Tim, he likes that laser gun he's got. <laughs> <laughs> he should, it's good. So do you guys think Shepard's going to come back then? Maybe I, not as a playable character. I hope not. Uh, I'm just laying next to Greg over here. I am too squishy. I'm gonna make sure it's stupid. Alright. Well, I was telling Tim the other night that they could pop me Clone Shepherd again. Yeah, well, they could just, you know, they could just do what they did with Mustang 2 as well. Like, I mean, there wasn't much of Shepherd to bring back after the normal exploded, but they still managed. Yeah. They kind of did make it crystal clear though that that was a one-time thing because of the, the technology and the, the expense of it but wouldn't you expect technology to have improved especially if it's you know in the future like you said it looks like liara has aged yeah and if an asari has visibly aged a few centuries have passed it's not just that though it, it's like the I get you no. that you know that the shepherd is the star of the show sort of thing, but stop! I was trying to pick you up, and it was just sticking me to the wall. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> that, that dragon got me all just what, just now. I didn't get to him. Um, but with it being such a, a an epic conclusion. It, it to me it's like well it's the next big bad thing what you're gonna do just wheel shepherd out just to, to take it out you know we don't even like know what the premise of the game is gonna be there's gonna be some 
I mean, I hope it isn't as big as the, the Reaper threat, but there's going to be some kind of threat, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, what if it's like um, a Saving Private Ryan situation? Like, not like um, as if it's the main plot, sort of like a, a secondary main story if, if Shepard is alive on, on your playthrough. And um, if, if you do manage to like recover Shepard and, and bring Shepard back or whatever, um, you get some kind of benefit as the player for having done that. And um, you know, that way it's not like the main focus, but I don't know. The, the thing is with having Shepard come back is you make the destroy ending cannon and making any of those endings is uh, making those cannon it's going to upset people no matter what yeah well they're, they're going to upset them but how, how else do you get around it really without making yeah either way shepherd alive or dead something is being made cannon and everybody's going to be like well that's not what i chose yeah that's why Andromeda was such a, a great way to, to to circumvent the the problem. But they should have done a um, No Man's Sky with it, rather than just ditching it. They should have just kept on working on it and making it better and changing it. I mean, No Man's Sky is a completely different game to what released. Didn't that game only last like three days? Um, or am I thinking it something did. different? No, I mean it released in 2016, and it, it got okay. It promised so much, and it was all like procedural generated or something, and it absolutely tanked on on release because it, it couldn't do everything they promised. And so since 2016, they've literally kind of rebuilt the game up. Rebuilt the game from the ground up. Added new things, chained things, and... And, uh, you know, news reports this week are saying... It's now... It's, it, you, you're better off playing that than Starfield. Because they've literally just... just in, um, they've just um, added in ship customization. So yeah, if they'd done the same with Andromeda, just stuck with it, giving it DLC, changed up. I mean, you could you can change. I mean, the story-wise, you know, obviously it's going to be a little tricky, but you could add, keep adding things onto it, just to, you know, you know, expand it out a bit. Did you see him do like a time travel thing? I really hope they don't do something like that because <laughs> Wade, I think it's done so often. <laughs> <laughs> and it's usually not done well. Yeah. Time travel is hard because how do you prevent paradoxes? That that's yeah, that's your biggest problem, isn't it? Yeah. We got down here. In oh. Snake Eater, have you ever um, killed Ocelot? Man, 
this is nuts. <laughs> it's a bit crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it seems like everybody's in one spot. This is what it was with me, uh, a plane solo was kind of like this. It's kind of hard to... It's hard to do a solo you do it like this. Everybody's ganging up on you. Well, you gotta run away from the crowd. <laughs> Unless you're geared up heavy, you can't just stand there and fight. Yeah. Uh, Kevin says this is the reason why I run Liara in Mass Effect 3 campaign for status trap Phantom before they juke around. <laughs> Ah, oh, she just wouldn't stay still, would she? The nemesis? Yeah, they don't like to. Oh, you need your phantoms. Uh, Tim, you need to get those phantoms for your next phantom. I do, yeah. Ow! They're hard to... And they're hard to kill. <laughs> I don't think so. Hear him over here. I don't worry. Oh, shoot. who's shooting at me? We got wounded. I've never played Quantum Break. Legacy of Kane, though, ah, oh, that's absolutely amazing. Absolutely no idea what's going on with it. But yeah, I love the series. Could not work out Defiance at all. Oh. Uh, how many Dragon Age in the game series, Tim? Is it three? Holy smokes. Uh, yeah, at the moment. And um, DLC and that. Next one's reportedly supposed to be out at the end of the year. But we'll see. Be careful with the phantoms over here. Yeah, I heard her swinging her sword. I'm going to save my... I think you was playing. There's a. Um... Let me get this guardian here. Oh my god, they're killing me today. <laughs> they were doing that all week with me. Ah. Oh no. Yeah, there's a guardian down here, so... He's... <laughs> He's... Okay. That's alright. He was... He was trying to protect me from, uh, for you to get to me. <laughs> oh! Turret, turret, turret. Yeah, it's up here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, Tim, I see you was okay. playing a different uh, Dragon Age. Uh, well, what did you have? Um... Uh, I was going to stick it on the other night, and then I, I kind of put it on, and as it was waiting for it to load up, I was starting to fall asleep in my chair, so I didn't, <laughs> I didn't play in the end. I have, I've got the, um, the Dragon Age itch at the minute. I really want to play it, but I know yeah, if, was it? if I start on that again, I'm, I'm not going to finish Andromeda. Oh, please. Oh, man. I'm, I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, shoot. Be careful. There's Atlas all over the place here. I 
I decided to come over here. Well, I got two Dragon Age on my Xbox, and I bought the, ankle, the third one on the, my computer, so. I just couldn't get into Inquisition. I keep trying, but I can't. Ow. Ow. The graphics looks good on Inquisition. Yeah, the graphics are amazing, but the gameplay is just... <laughs> ugh. Oh, dragon. Stay away from me. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh that's not oh. good. I'm gone. <laughs> oh, did I not get you up in time? No, nope. there wasn't enough time. Close, but not that close. I remember the original Legacy of Kane. I never played Soul Reaver. Soul Reaver's really good. Soul Reaver's really good. Soul Reaver 2 is okay. It gets a bit weird. And then Defiance is like The story's just, it's just mad. <laughs> oh, good. I could get a jumbo pack now. I haven't seen Diana yet. I wonder if she knows this is happening. Uh, probably, probably not. not. <laughs> probably not, to be fair. <laughs> Yeah, I was um, I was supposed to schedule it earlier, and I got engrossed in Andromeda, and then my wife came home, and I was like, "Oh, I'm supposed to be doing housework." Was so, that rather than the, <laughs> you know, tossing it off playing computer games? Yeah, I was wondering if you're gonna come on or not. So uh, I will be right back. <clears throat> Yeah, I see. I see you had the deluxe edition get your tip on, on the uh, Dragon Age. Kind of like, kind of like a deluxe edition. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting the itch to play it again, but I, I, I need to finish Andromeda first. I need to get a hold of EA again and tell them about my. My I, my game still plays, but my online content I can't, you know, get multiplayer and stuff like that back online. I don't know what's going on with that. So I can still play the game, I just don't have my multiplayer. Yeah. So now my Xbox, I I got my multiplayer, but on my computer. Oh, one more round. I need to, one more round as this havoc guy, and then I can change my. Uh... I thought you got on. I thought you got on your uh, Reapers. No, I've nearly got the uh, Commando Mastery banner. That's a cool looking banner too. Yeah, I quite like the look of it. But well, I needed ten more waves, and I think I must have gone. I must have been down in one of those waves. I am getting very close to get that, uh, the, the Reapers, so. Let's see how much I need. I was so close the other night and they got me in this. Uh, I can do it solo, it's just they send me those weird certain mission you gotta do, I can't do it by myself. So. Yeah, the difficulty in solo really depends on what you get for missions, especially the Wave 10 one. Yeah, the one I can't get is the uh, the objective, ob objection, whatever you want to call it. You know, kill the other yeah, guys. Yeah, that's the toughest one. Yeah, I can't do that by myself. Especially you don't have missiles or 
you know, the big guns and stuff. Oh, the killing the, the dudes, the priority targets? That's one of the easiest ones, especially if you have missiles. You just gotta take those four guys down and then clear the map, and you're done. Uh, I know, I, I think is, I just don't have missiles to do it, so... <laughs> well, hold on your missiles. <laughs> well, I'm trying, so... Now, I had been playing with my Turian engineer. He has those grenades, so... I'm gonna be honest. For a while, the only way I was ever completing solos was with the Geth Juggernaut. I got on my ravaging port. I got four hundred and thirty-six thousand one hundred twenty. So I'm getting close. Very close. Uh, sorry, guys, I take it you're waiting for me, aren't you? No, nope, Tim's still messing around with stuff. <laughs> oh. No, I'm good. I was just... I'm... I want to see if there's any kind of planners I can work towards. Playing the... Hardest campaign in Crusader Kings 3. Once you hit the 14th century, the Mongols will start spreading and eventually invade Europe, and you have to unite the continent against them. Oh, the Mongols? Nice. My buddy got me that game recently. I haven't had a chance to try it. He said it's a crime that you don't have this game. <laughs> <laughs> I just I couldn't get on with all the terminology. My vassals were my, and my bishops, and my bishops were getting cross with my clerics, and my clerics were plotting against me for something. And I'm like, who's on my side? No one's on your side, you dictator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, which is the drill assassin on? Is that a... It's an infiltrator. Okay. I probably should have known that. <coughs> yeah. He's a good one. The uh, recon mine is nice because it lights up enemies, um, and then you can detonate the mine. It does a good damage. The homing grenade's a little tricky to use because it takes a second for it to, you know, do its thing. And of course, your cloak is good. Hmm. Your cloak gives you a uh, damage boost to your sniper rifles. Oh, right, that's cool. Because I was actually, this character's actually got the collector sniper at the moment. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. The only thing I don't like about the Collector Sniper Rifle is that it's very limited range. Well, not very limited, but it's got a range limit, and I don't think a Sniper Rifle should have a limit. Yeah. I think I have my good days and bad days with it as well. About like a month, month and a half ago when you started using it, you are doing really well. You were actually keeping up with me. Yeah. And then there are, have been days where I'm just absolutely crap with it. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I got one gun with, uh, with my quarry, and she, she runs faster with one gun. Um, not every weapon has the range effect. The M7 Lancer. Can't get him to stop doing that duck and cover thing. They always wouldn't put stuck behind the wall somewhere. <laughs> kind of like, kind of like Tim, you know. <laughs> yeah, spacebar does everything. Well, for Tim, X button.
especially when you're cornered. Yeah, Quarians are quick. Yeah, she that drill is quick. Drill run really fast. I haven't played him in a while. Not the squishy though. Fun. They're a little bit squishier, but they're also flippy spinning. They're fast and agile, you're supposed to use that. And if you're the infiltrator, the cloak as well. Bless you. Thank you. Catching the cold, Tim? Ah, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not well at the minute. Can't seem to stop coughing. I got two banners pretty close working on. This one and the uh, the region. Rocket troopers, that's what I need. Guess rocket troopers. Where did that guy come from? Snuck up behind you. I think I need that's those bombs too. I'm not checking my corners. <laughs> nice I need those bombardiers. They're always hard to kill. They're annoying. I feel like sometimes they just outright ignore your abilities. Like you try to overload their shields and just nothing happens. They're cheaters. <laughs> They're, they're, they are a nightmare, aren't they? <laughs> oh, I've got like half the wave in my way. I think I need a uh, Death Hunters and a uh, Bob and Deer and something, something else. You think the death would be easy to get, but not really. <laughs> I think we need a water tank weapon. You think rest him out will destroy him? <laughs> Squirt him with water? <laughs> Enemy force approaching. Use it to counter the pyro's flamethrowers. Absolutely. <laughs> Soulless vacuum cleaners, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but this unit has a soul. No, it doesn't. It has wires <laughs> and motors and components. And somebody Let's be had honest, we can't even be sure we have a soul. <laughs> it's just a machine, and machines can be broken. I had... Your words are as empty as your future. <laughs> oh my god. And some might have old disk drives. <laughs> and using Windows 10. I mean, if you think about it, you know, we're not very different from the Geth. We have wiring and electrical impulses. The only difference is we have chemical reactions as well. Yeah, we wasn't actually built for a purpose, though, was we? How do you know, Tim? <laughs> we find our own purpose. Copy that! Well, we know one of these many religions is actually right. <laughs> I'm hit. 
I mean, I'm more willing to believe that, you know, religion is just misremembered encounters with aliens. I... Are you are, are you all honestly telling me that if your vacuum cleaner started questioning its existence, you'd be happy for it to go? Yeah, okay, you can <laughs> live with me in the spare room. And... Oh yeah. No, I'll I'll like... probably set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my machines thinking for themselves. Exactly, exactly. And the guests shouldn't think for themselves either. <laughs> I'm sorry, but. L like living with a Hoover that actually has consciousness, does that not sound like the best sitcom ever? Well, not when they decide they don't want to clean up your mess. You're like, oh, I've just, just dropped all this dirt all over my floor. Can you just give that a bit of a clean? And they go, no. <laughs> you do it. You made yeah, the mess. They, they did that in Rocco's Modern Life. They had the vacuum cleaner that had a mind of its own. <laughs> and what did it do? It destroyed society. <laughs> I think that depends entirely on the vacuum. I mean, if it was a nice vacuum cleaner, you know, <laughs> like, if it was a vacuum cleaner that was a teenager with an attitude, then I'm sure it wouldn't. <laughs> you know? Back to security on the data terminal. I mean, you're talking to an American here, and pretty much all we were were a bunch of whiny teenagers to you guys. <laughs> Let's be honest, we didn't win some great war, we just became more trouble than we were worth. Hello there. Oh my lord, he just shot at me. I didn't see it coming. Oh. I don't know, Chris. I think oh, in recent sorry, years. we're supposed to be hacking, aren't we? I've just seen that. Yeah, we got these. We need you, Tim. We got these bombardiers over here. <laughs> what were you going to say there, Craig? I was just going to say, like, things have happened in recent years in the UK that made me lose faith in our society, so, you know. Oh, yeah. What culture is getting you to, huh? Hey, welcome, Beth. Politics. Uh, we enjoyed Tim's latest vid on MEA. Really passionate take on the game. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for the kind words. So, like, I know you have a king, but, like, what power does he really have in terms Nothing. of politics? Nothing. Yeah, he's just a figurehead. Yeah. So it's I mean, the prime minister that runs the show. Like, but is your prime minister just an overused sock puppet? Because <laughs> that's what our president is, and it's insulting. Yeah, let's not go down the politics route. It's quite depressing, to be fair. And plus, I kind of suck at it myself, so... <laughs> I done that and I got in trouble big time. Whoa! I'm supposed to be loyal, having been a soldier. <laughs> Loyalty to the end. And I'd die for my country for sure. But it better be for the right reasons. <laughs> so you kind of like... Jim Kirk, you're a soldier, not a politician. Politics have no business in the military. If you're calling in the military, your politics fail. Oh, what is going on? Uh, we're fighting death here. Quite sure how I've not received the uh, the banner yet. Seeing as I only needed ten waves at the start of tonight, and now we're up to like wave eight or nine. Of the second game. I know. 
not updated, I suppose. Well, I'll, I'll let you know when I get my random gear out. If we play the uh, Reapers. I stop dying first. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Oh, Get two pyros in a, as a wall, essentially, right in my way. Two rocket troopers just blasted me. God dang it! I just lived dangerously. I ran through all that mess. <laughs> Yeah, that's usually not recommended. <laughs> Alright, where's this rocket trooper? He's pissing me off now. Got him. Good. I don't care who gets him as long as he's dead. <laughs> you got these little bombardiers too. And a lot of them little suckers, ain't they? Fire behind you. Oh. So, what do yeah. you guys think about um, Mass Effect 5's plot? How are they going to incorporate everybody's choices? It would be tough to do so. They would have to have like three different games. I mean, I suppose having an, a, a base outcome you know, one base outcome for three different endings would be impossible, I think. Here's what they should do, Tim. They could have a poll on what you story they'd like to see <laughs> on five. You think that might work? Could do, but it's still going to upset people, isn't it? Yeah, they would. I think they're just doomed to upset people, you know, especially this day and age. People just want to be upset about things. <laughs> True. <laughs> if there's any reason to complain about something, I'm sure they will. It don't matter what game you people play. Like was said uh, at the beginning of the stream, Andromeda was not that bad. those turrets the uh, prime throws out so many things to put together timeline is one character well, I mean it's not even that it's like you've got things like uh, the Krogan were they cured were they not cured and then that mixed in with like a, a destroy ending or you know a synthesis ending where you've got the geth wiped out the quarians and the the Krogans weren't cured versus with a destroy ending versus a, a synthesis ending with the Krogans genophage cured and and everyone brought together that there's so many different permutations of how the galaxy could be left I, I think there's even one scenario where not only do the Krogan go extinct because the cure uh, wasn't there but the Rachni take over to Chunka. So, like, there you have, you know, two different outcomes with saving the Rachni. Uh, for me, the big one the past week are the romance canon. People fighting for the love interest. Well, it's just going to yeah. be difficult to reconcile all of the different ways the third game can end. You know, how do you follow that? 
There we go, Commando Mastery. Just unlocked. Just got a new banner? Yeah. Ready to go, Tim. Do you think we're Whoa. gonna... I think we're gonna be ready for a gold match tonight? Yeah, I'm up for one. Now you need to get your uh, Reaper banner, Tim. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. Clean this up, man. Be quicker. Oh my god. Like, I love this sniper, but you can't... The problem is when you're sniping, you can't see everything around you. Ah, oh, I'm trying to get your... Thing because oh, I'm not gonna extract. Oh, Fred. Oh, I can't climb the ladder. Great. I'm running as fast as I can, dude. Hey, Light Shadow. Okay. Ooh, what's your video one? Ow. Shot in the ass. More importantly, yeah. keep Ryder and his team in Andromeda. These weren't meant to have two separate stories. Oh, I've got a feeling that they are going to combine it. Especially with the concept art we've seen. At the Geth and it look, what looks to be Angara and Liara. In the, uh, in the same space. Something I've been wondering recently with Andromeda, you have the Nexus, they built it to, you know, kind of be a Citadel. The Citadel was a, an enormous mass relay. Is the Nexus supposed to function the same way? Possibly, I suppose. Do you think they may have modeled it to connect to the Citadel? Because we don't... I mean, we have the benefactor that we don't know who it is. They obviously had an insane amount of resources. You know, could they have figured out a way to do that? That could be their their reason to, to get there. Which would then make sense if it set 600 years in the future. Or at least 600 years in the future, because the R is still alive. And it's taken them 600 years to get to Andromeda the first time around, haven't it? Yeah, Liara would still be alive, and she would. She's probably the only one alive who knows about it, unless the benefactor was also an Asari. If the benefactor even stayed, who knows? The benefactor might have been on one of the arcs. I don't know which one to go for next. <laughs> I was I was hoping they would let us know at the uh, the end of drama who was the benefactor was, but they never did. Yeah, I think it was one of those things where they were going to set it up in the Andromeda sequel, guys. Mm -hmm. There were, there were a couple of things that never really were answered. I mean, there was obviously like a larger um, 
army behind the cat as well. Like a, you know, like a larger um, leadership and things like that. But, um, yeah, I don't think we're going to have that resolved. Uh, right, let's go gold then. Krogan Warlord. Hey, Hollywood guy. You're fashionably late, Hollywood guy, don't worry. <laughs> not much, man. Try not to get killed. Yeah, Tim was late this time. He was hooked on uh, Andromeda. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. <laughs> no, it, I kind of like it. I just don't like all that exploring stuff, type stuff, but it's still a pretty good game. <laughs> they definitely took a risk going with the open world aspect of things because it's not what Mass Effect ever was. I mean, sort of to a degree in the first one, but even then it was, you know, you're going down to a planet for a side mission or an actual mission and you're just picking up random things and minerals. Yeah. It's almost like Star Trek meets Mass Effect in a way. <laughs> Wait, Chris, are you telling me you don't play Mass Effect to collect minerals? <laughs> no, I play it to kill Reavers. <laughs> <laughs> then I need you to help me kill some people so I get my banner. <laughs> Well, you know what happens when I go against Reapers. I kill them all. <laughs> oh, speaking of which. Oh boy, this is the best map if you've got a sniper. <laughs> oh, good, hey, I'm like throwing these maps at you. This one and the frozen one. Oh, it's gold, by the way. What did I tell you? I think we said. Okay, just checking. Oh, that's why I'm on this guy. Yeah. Oh, I might get a Ravager then. Man, I hate these husks. I want to find someone I can, I can hit with my hammer. Get a husk. They're easy. <laughs> <laughs> they might be the only one you could actually kill. <laughs> Unless you built from melee. Oh my god. Go get that Marana. There we go. Sorry, Jim. Sorry, Jim. There you get it. <laughs> oh, I think I'm bugging out. I can't damage anything. Jim likes the butt heads. <laughs> You're gonna have to die then, aren't you? Hear a husk, but I don't see him. 
Yeah, I hear him. Should I pick you up or do you want to go down? Uh, yeah, if you can pick me up. I guess we'll shoot at something. Oh, yeah, I had to have one enemy left. You could have. Yeah, if it was one enemy left, you could have left me. Ah, <laughs> oh, Hollywood oh, guy. Thank you so much. Oh, he's hey, $10 just... super chat. How, how many times have you played Mass Effect killing some squad members to see different outcomes? For example, I killed Garrus and got a bad outcome. Not that often, actually. Um, I always roll with my choices, but I've, I've kind of got to the stage where I, I know exactly who to put where and what to do to, to save everybody. Sometimes Morden dies, because he's rather squishy. <laughs> I even brought him with me on the, the final run once to try and make sure that... He wasn't going to die. And then some big piece of metal kind of landed on top of him. Which I wasn't amused at. Um, I wonder if that final mission depends on who you bring then as well. Yeah, well, I figured that if he's in my party when I finish the game, then, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to save him. And no, it doesn't work like that. Um, but there is a mod that I, I really enjoy now, I must admit. I haven't played for a while, but... And uh, what it does Super is chat. that... It kind of logs all your interactions with your crew. So the amount of times you speak to them on the Normandy, the amount of missions you take them out on. And... In doing so, it raises or lowers their... Um, their opinion of you so because you, you don't have you, you can't physically take everybody out on every mission it's the morale system sorry it raises or, or lowers their morale so the more if you take them out on missions it, it raises the morale um, if you leave them back on the Normandy it lowers it so when you come to the final suicide mission not only do you have to have the right people in the right spots, but if their morale is too low, regardless of, of whatever else you you do, yeah, you, know, you might have done their loyalty mission and and you know they're all loyal and stuff, but if their morale's too low, too low, they're still going to die. So then you you have to try and swap out high morale people for the the low morale people. But then if they're not competent in doing the job, then, yeah, it, it, it kind of really does mix up the endings for you. To, you know, so that you've absolutely no idea who, who's going to be uh, survive. I should do a, uh, an awful run, really, at some point. Just try and kill everybody. Big Dan Gaming did a video on the worst possible ending, had everybody die, like did nothing in the third game. It's a pretty horrible ending. Sorry, Curtis, I gotta run. <laughs> That's okay. 
Curtis, you're way far away from everyone. Yeah, no, I'm trying to hide. That's quite impressive, Kevin, to be fair. Missiles, man. I was using for the get that ravager with. <laughs> you might need him to save yourself from a banshee. Oh, I got you guys for that. <laughs> well, then next time I'm just gonna let her melt your brain. <laughs> Dangerous, Tim. Brutes can yeah. still grab you. <laughs> Brutes can grab you. Brutes and banshees can grab you. The only grabs you're immune to are husks. Who do I support? The mages or the templars? That is a tough choice. Probably the mages. In fact, yeah, it's, it's, it's always the mages. You know, it's kind of hard to side with Meredith. She's just insane. Yeah, she is. Who's that? They are? No, Meredith. Dragon Age 2. Oh, okay. Well, in, in her defense, that was the idol. You know, that wasn't the same. I mean, she was always paranoid to begin with. Yeah, the idol didn't help, but she was always crazy. But then, on the flip side of that, I mean, this What's is why I, this is why I hate Dragon Age 2's ending. Is that, regardless of, of what you choose, they, they both kind of turn into some big demon thing. It's like, you didn't need to do that. If you sided with I, the mages... You have to prove the right. Rocket to the... uh, Are you going to have any special guests from Dragon Age to show up on the podcast? Uh, I don't know, Craig. Are we having any any Dragon Age voice actors? I mean, I think neither of us have properly agreed on if we want to do Dragon Age content on now or not. Yeah. It is more Mass Effect focused, isn't it? Mm. Enemy is down to one. I'm 
curious. What do you guys think of the Adept in Mass Effect? All YouTube played Soldier, Infiltrator, Sentinel. And no one goes for Adept. Scared of not shooting and used by God power. Isn't it because they're usually a bit yeah, more squishy? But if you focus on biotics and you get explosions, they're the highest damage dealers. Oh no, he has to go after me. Oh, I got it. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> oh, there's two ass puddles here. We're only on wave six, aren't we? Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> we got this. It's fine. I wish that would work for me. Now let me know how close I am with the ravagers. Support the Templars and Inquisition Mages are a bunch of psychos who power up on human blood. Yeah, but the, the, the Templars are just as bad. They're all doped up on. Um, Lyrium, yeah. The, Lyrium. the Mages are acting out of desperation. Then again, like I said, Orsino kind of proves mm -hmm. Meredith right. And it's like he did it suddenly, just out of the blue, know how to do blood magic and turn into that demon. Like, <laughs> he had to have studied it at some point. So, like, how wrong is Meredith, you know? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ooh. How did I survive? I thought I was killed. You got killed before she did the sink kill. Oh. Yeah, if she's grabbing you and like in the middle of the grab, if you get shot down, you live. I mean, you still go down, but you can be picked up. I thought she killed me, right? No, there isn't a kill thing. So. I didn't see her behind me. Uh, any updates on the new Dragon Age game? I hear it's supposed to be coming out soon. So, the latest I've heard is that it's going to be showcased in summer with a release date towards the end of the year. That's apparently Bioware's working assumption. September is a popular time for game releases. And it'll run you at 99.99. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think it's going to be, Tim? Uh, $70. Oh, come on. I was on a roll. <laughs> oh, you're grabbed again? Yeah. <coughs> so you try to grab. 
Oh, I was just taking out all the marauders. And then all of a sudden a banshee just popped up behind them and That's what you did with me is you snuck right behind me and got me. Uh, so if Dragon Age is coming then so is Mass Effect, right? At the moment everything will be all hands on deck for Dragon Age. Once that gets released, then focus will then shift on to to Mass Effect. Yeah, they're not going to do Mass Effect in earnest until Dread yeah. Dreadwolf is released. You're probably looking at least another... They've already said that. Probably three to oh. four years, I'd say, before the next Mass Effect game. It's not like, you know, the new Elder Scrolls game where they announced it two, three years ago. It ain't going to be out till 2029. Bethesda really dropped the ball on that one. I heard it was in a playable state, though. The new Elder Scrolls? Yeah. I haven't heard anything about it, honestly. Yeah, and the news reports this week was that Elder Scrolls 6 is in a playable state. Which tells me they're basically working off the Skyrim. <laughs> How long does it take oh, oh. them? What a kick in the quad that would be if they just, you know, re-release Skyrim. Oh my god. Uh oh. How is it? Run, dude. Run, 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 run. <laughs> She's right behind you. Sticks. Yeah, gang marauder. I think I'll stay behind Tim for a while. Ooh, there's a bitch behind. Oh my lord. Oh. oh no. No 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 no. No! No! Are you set of a gun? Oh, go away, go away, go away. Light Shadow, yeah, you're right. If, if Dragon Age does well, then yeah, then, then it'll be all hands on deck for Mass Effect. Probably I'll wait for me to get um, Dragon Age to fly through my Xbox. It might not play on my computer. Yeah, I should imagine it's definitely going to be next gen. Until um, real. Oh, that was not a good place to go. Unreal 5, isn't it, they're using? Uh, for Dragon Age, they're still using the Frostbite. Oh, yeah. I thought they were going back for, um... Yeah, but for the next Mass Effect, aren't they going back to Unreal? Yeah. Yeah, for the next Mass Effect. It's, it's Unreal. Still might be able to run my old computer then. I think it'll definitely be next gen though. Oh, I'm stuck in a wall. <laughs> but seriously, man, all the brutes can see me when I'm in this one. I don't know how. 
Yeah, the cloak is a foolproof. I kind of don't agree with that. Ah, dang it. Trying to get that final... Ravager. I don't know who the worst character is. Carver Anders. Ah. See, I really like Anders in Awakenings. Proper ruined him for uh, Dragon Age 2. Well, I never understand people that romance him. I mean, I tried it for a playthrough, but he basically says, hey, can you help me destroy this temple? If you don't, if you ask questions, then you don't love me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they have it remastered, uh, all Dragon Age. Oh. Like they did Mass Effect. God, that was close. I saw that. I'm surprised she didn't grab you. Yeah. It's like she changed her mind. <laughs> yeah, she said, I had him before. <laughs> <coughs> Apologies for everyone that just got an ear full of me coughing. Oh, wave 10. I thought that was wave 11. <laughs> it felt like it. Oh boy. Oh, we're escorting, are we? Yeah. Great time to escort, eh? What was that, Craig? I was just saying, what a great time to have an escort. Hey, I got my Ravager point three. I don't know how I did it, but I got it. No, 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 no. Thank you. Whoever was that? Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, this is not good. I think we're all oh, gonna die. Oh, taking my ops packs too. I'm out of missiles, so... Uh, I've got two left. Save that last one, Tim. We're almost there. Yes, I got my new banner, Tim. Ah, well done. Got my Reaper. Coming behind us, Tim. <laughs> oh, time to run. Oh, there's another one right there, too. Run away, run away. Run away. <laughs> so, my next is my gap. I need to get it. a lot of ravagers in this one too. <laughs> oh yeah, they come out in like fours. I really don't want you to get that intel. <laughs> yeah, it's a search of three. Where are you gone? Oh, you're there. She's going up down the um, hallway there. <laughs> Tim likes that crow. Careful, that's where they are. Oh, okay. I think they were chasing me. Alright, I got him to stop jumping.
That doesn't last long. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. Two minutes, that's all we gotta do. Two more minutes. Okay, my gun won't put fire in that fun. Oh, pull oh, out your missile oh. launcher and then put it back away. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost got a... Oh my lord. Will you put hide behind the fire, dude? Oh, that wasn't clever. Oh. I should have just left her. Oh! Look oh. at all the bad dudes up here, Tim. Hello! Oh my I'm trying God. to keep these banshees following me. Well, also trying to not kill them. I'm going her. Alright, guys. Let's we shouldn't be here this early. No. Oh my, we're trapped in here though. Yeah, there's bench coming. I've got one rocket left. Oh my god, it was a stupid tiny dog that killed me. <laughs> oh, 20 seconds. I'm dead. Oh my god, that was a stupid pony. Oh boy, I'm trapped. I don't think I'm gonna get there. Alright. So far, me. So far, me and Greg will be left behind. We're gonna be in the memory wall. <laughs> oh, no, I'm gonna go down. <laughs> Just Tim is a solo survivor. <laughs> I think Chris got there as well, didn't you? Yeah, I guess I had just enough time. I got hit by that Banshee's Warp. I had almost no health. <laughs> Question though is, J, uh, J Melvin, is do you stab him? Or do you let Anders go? Uh, what do you want? You want another gold match, or do you want to go back down to silver? Let's go back down to silver. So, I want to get. Try, I'm gonna try to get me another gun. So, what do I need to get for that? Spectre packs. Honestly, Curtis, if I were you, I would be buying veteran packs. Veteran packs? Okay. Let me see what I get. Should be able to get at least two or three after that gold match. Because, I, I mean, you, you're using a, a level three Geth pulse rifle. You honestly shouldn't even be in gold matches with that. And you've got a melee booster on it. You don't ever melee, so that's not helping you at all. Uh, well, I just got me another M15 Vindicator. A Vindicator, yeah. Yeah, another update on that. How's that good? Um, it, it depends. It's a burst fire weapon, so it's tricky to use. Okay, I just pass that up then. I'll try to get another veteran pack and see what I get. No guns on that one. Did you get any weapon upgrades though? Or um, mods I should say? I got some. I got enough to buy one more and see what I get. Yeah, see that's what you need to be doing. You need to be upgrading your uh, your lower level weapons, getting your mods and stuff, because 
gold, you need to be level 10 and stuff before you even start thinking about doing it. Okay. I think my M13 Raptor X got updated. Raptor is horrible. <laughs> so far, I got no luck this time. So. Well, no, that's not true. You upgraded the Raptor to level 10, so now anytime you buy a pack where it would come in, it doesn't show up. Now you'll get something else. Oh, okay. But that's why I say buy the cheaper packs first. Upgrade all of the weapons that come out of there because you buy the Spectre packs at the beginning, you're spending 100,000 credits and you're getting basic weapons. It's a waste. Okay. So, do you think, think I need to change my weapons mod on my Death Pulse then? Or... Yeah, if you got a heavy barrel, I'd say put that on because the pulse rifle doesn't do a lot of damage. You want to try to be boosting that as much as you can. The magazine upgrade is good. I honestly, I put magazine upgrades on just about everything. I got the, uh, I can't even pronounce this. This is a lengthened barrel. L E N G T H E N S barrel. Is that a heavy one? Or not? Well, it's a lengthened barrel. It says uh, it should be giving you a, um, a boost. Oh, yeah, the All extended right. barrel. Yeah, that's damage boost. Okay, I use that then. Yeah, level five. Level five is the max for your weapon mods. It gives you a 25% damage boost. That's significant. Okay. So yeah, I don't know too much about my gun, so. <laughs> well, that's why I'm trying to help you. I do like the one I'm using. It's, but... The pulse rifle is good. Now you just need to be aiming for the head more because that's where the damage really comes in. It's so easy to get headshots with the pulse rifle. Just dial it in and hold it there. It has virtually no recoil. Do I need to use a scope for that then? Do I need no, to a... just, you okay. know, pay attention to where your shots are going and then aim it towards the head. Okay. I know Tim likes to use the scope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to use the scope because like um, uh, Craig said earlier, when you're trying to snipe somebody, you lose that field of vision. You don't see what's going on around you as much. It's a trade-off. You know, it's good that you can see further and you get more accuracy, but you don't see what's coming from your sides. I think I can get me another. I'm going to try it. Sniper rifle. What would be the best sniper rifle for me to use? I never used one. Well, I have, but I got the M92 Mantis X. Is that a good one? It's heavy damage, very accurate, but it's a one shot and then you reload and it has a long reload um, animation. So it's not good if you're trying to start out. If you've got a Viper, that one is nice. It's lower damage, but it's more rapid firing and a bigger magazine capacity. You can get like six mag uh, six shots per magazine at level 10, something like that. Yeah, I got M97 Viper. <laughs> like Kevin says, the uh, the bonus equipment. So you look at, um, yeah, the bonus equipment, the one on the bottom right, the gear bonus at level five, those are 15% damage boosts if you get the assault rifle. So you get the 15% from your gear bonus plus the 25% from the barrel, start shooting them in the head. Um, if you take the, uh, the headshot bonus under your, um, whatever your class power is, it's uh, usually rank five, no, yeah, rank five. You usually have a choice between power damage and headshot damage. It's another 20% damage. Okay, I'll try it out. This is how I get these high scores. Yeah, 
And we had to get Collectus at least once. <laughs> we got everything else. We got Cerberus and Gath and Reaper, so we would do for Collectus. Uh, shucks, I put the dang scope on my gun. Well. Yeah, just be careful. Yeah. I, I don't mind it looking pretty close, but... I've got my troll build on, so I'll be freezing everything. <laughs> I just love the cryo rounds on the Falcon. It's so funny. I'm gonna be honest, I usually get more assists with this class than I do kills. I'll get 50 assists and like maybe, you know, 25 kills. God, this drill is so quick. What's that? The Drell. You go oh, from yeah, playing fast. the Krogan Warlord to the Drell, it's like... <laughs> he's on speed or something. Kind of like you're dancing on air. <laughs> <laughs> I usually put an adrenaline booster on my Krogan because, you know, I'm trying to be the melee guy. You gotta get in there quick. You also gotta be ready to GTFO in case, you know, a banshee ah. jumps up. Hey Curtis, you weren't the first one to go down. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> We're picking on you, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> I almost had to bite my tongue there, too, so... <laughs> I was about to go down. Just as I was saying it. Our data centers are not transmitting. Ah, here it is. Copy that. Oh, we all three of us are gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a bit squishy, though, isn't he? He is a bit squishy. He's got decent shields, but not a lot of health. Well, I'm trying to get you, Tim. <laughs> Thank you. You son of... I think I got you, Derek. Okay. They don't want to give up getting you. Oh, I've been playing with that Torian for the... Yeah, I've been playing with that Turin for so long. I'm used to having the, the Havoc shield. I'm calling shenanigans. I was totally behind something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to protect Greg the best I can. Oh no, here comes a husk. Oh, he moved around. Nope, you son of a gun. That's another reason why I like the freeze. Oh, ah. sorry. Oh, That's the one thing I don't like about this gun. survive to get into that twice. Curse. Thank you. Alright. Oh, missed a grab there. Yeah, the collectors are quick. It's like they see it coming.
Oh, they got a good pitching arm. <laughs> yeah, they're a little too accurate with those grenades. You need to sign him up in a baseball team. Here with the RJ Melvin. The big purple things with the oh shooty out lasers. I'm trying to get you, Tim, but they're scions in one end and. It's this Praetorian that's in my way. He's definitely fixated on me. Yeah, he don't want you to get Tim. <laughs> nah, he just doesn't want me alive. Ha! <laughs> Missed me. They were counting on my jetpack. Oh. Did you went down, Tim? Yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes! Wrong direction. Scion over here, guys. Watch out. making it easy for us <laughs> behind you Curtis a couple of husks yep, oh they're going for Craig now <laughs> they like Craig Going that way. Oh, come on, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm out of grenades. It has to be down here. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Ah. Yeah, I just saw you went down. I think it's kind of rude when the Reapers shoot you in immediately after the revival. They don't even let you get to your feet. I know it is, isn't it? Oh my lord. Uh, more grenades. Oh lord. They got about six, seven grenades that thrown at one, one little guy. Yeah, it's possessed scions throw a huge cluster of them. I saw that grenade come in, I was like, I'm not going to make it. You got the 
rejected that at least. Yeah, it was them. Um, I was like, what's going to get me first? The, the grenade or the, the objective? You need Mateo here to do Tim's countdown. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> Hey, Dagamo. Hey, you can spam roll when revived to move quickly. Oh, okay. Praetorian up top. Yep, I see him. Oh, you little sucker. Eat my grenades. Your grenades don't do any good when he's got that bubble up. I just noticed that. <laughs> got done some damage to it. Oh, Lord. Yeah, they got pretty tough armor. You got the double ones, too, so they do less damage. I just don't want to use my missiles on him yet. Ooh, he's still alive. For some reason I thought I killed him. Army. Oh, man. You cheated, dude. First time I was ever seen a big bug got shields. There's another one over there, guys. Oh, they move fast. Will you put behind behind a wall? Get out of there. They stick like magnets to them walls. When you want to be behind the wall, they won't do it. In to refusing to use power. I, I keep forgetting to. I'm, I'm too used to the um, the Torian, which was the the havoc shields. Oh, the ops packs, yeah. Yeah. The one I'm using. Stimulant packs, I should say. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm using... Um, you're the saboteur. That guy doesn't have the stimulant packs. Okay. Yeah, I, mine's an engineer, so, yeah. Oh, it smokes. Haha. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I just ran into a random grenade. Oh, I thought I was behind a wall there. I got you, Tim. Oh, what a clever. <laughs> Did you get blown up by a uh, husk? Yeah. Careful. Yeah, smacked him in the face. He blew up in <laughs> mine. <laughs> God, I'm getting annihilated. I got five revivals. Or <laughs> <Good>. me. <laughs> I like these grenades. But they're hard to aim sometimes. 
turret is the thing you should be using. <laughs> I get more kills with the turret than I do my gun when I play that guy. Oh, I use him too. Oh, I did not know that, Kevin. Thank you. What was that? <laughs> oh, they smokes. Oh, man, grenades. Watch out, guys. Alright, these silence are pissing me off. Oh, they <laughs> love you. Okay. I threw my turn on that siren. Oh man, man look, these huts are about to drive me nuts. I was playing this last night and the huts was saying die, die, by the current got it before his, he says it's the die word. <laughs> Coming, Tim! Okay. Pick the bad spot for these. Mercy, mercy, mercy. What is this going on? for no. him to say. That looks like a really uncomfortable position that I've landed in. Oh my 
Lord. Thank you. Yeah. Oh man, I got killed. <laughs> That's a lucky case. <laughs> I think, I think you case. still made it. You think? Yeah, because the extraction happened and then you died. <laughs> All right, guys, I am going to call it there for tonight because I'm proper ill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't sound so good. Yeah. So, but no, thank you ever so much for the game. I'm not here next week. I'm on holiday next week. Um, taking the family away, so there'll be no live stream. Um, but be back again the week after. Already. No worries. Uh, so yeah, big thank you to to Chris, to Curtis, and to Craig for the game. Uh, a big thanks to you guys in the chat for hanging out with us. And I uh, hope you have a nice week. Hopefully you eat plenty of chocolate tomorrow. I know I certainly will be. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're in the UK, is it tonight? I'm pretty sure it's tonight the, the clocks go forward. I've got no idea. I should know, but I don't. Yeah, so um, yeah, don't, if you're in the UK, don't forget to put your clocks forward. Um I think we did ours last week or two weeks ago. It was ago. like a month and a half ago. <laughs> oh, a month and a half ago? Yeah, it was a while ago now. It's weird that they don't line it up. You know, that's why I don't like it. It's just it's inconsistent. No. But anyway, have a great night, and I'll see you two weeks' time. Okay. Night, everybody. Yeah, see you guys. See you.